Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we we will be showcasing another anti-auditor channel that just popped up recently that goes by the name Past Unremembered. And so far from what I've seen, they are doing pretty good for themselves. And I will leave a link in the description box below to their channel and... Uh, you can uh, rate, comment, share, and subscribe, or whatever you want to do over there. And uh, we will go ahead and sit back, relax, and take a look at this fairly new channel on the scene. Unremembered. Good opening sequence, short to the point, uh, so that way we can get into the video. Love that kind of thing. The auditor has given a misleading title to the video. He calls it, Imagine a World Where People Are Afraid of Cameras. I am not going to interrupt too much because you do a good enough job of explaining everything, but I, I would like to point out the thumbnail of this video right here. It seems that they don't know what the hell civil rights are anyway, and this person claims to be a sociologist. A sociologist would know what civil rights are, because you know what? That was my field of study, and we do study civil rights. In addition, if he actually has a master's degree in psychology like he claims right here, then why the hell isn't he utilizing it in an actual job somewhere? I mean, that seems mighty suspicious to me, but then again, I've come to know a lot of frauders as far as their ability to lie, and this has me highly suspect. The featured individuals in the video simply aspire to live in a world where mutual respect is highly valued. We advocate against intrusive filming practices, especially during moments like meals. It is reasonable to assume that most people would prefer not to be recorded while enjoying a meal at a local cafe. The unexpected intrusion by a ridiculous individual wearing a fake beard only served to create an unnecessary situation for them. Rather than creating weird scenarios for entertainment purposes, it would be more productive to envision a world where everyone can experience a sense of security and dignity. In such a world, individuals can enjoy moments of tranquility and pleasure without the constant fear of being under surveillance. Do we really need more stress in our day-to-day -day lives, particularly when there is no need for it? Instead of fabricating scenarios for entertainment, it would be more beneficial to imagine a world where dignity is prioritized. What's up, freaks? It's the amazing Mr. Ghost. And today I am with Darkling. Darkling Nemesis here. There he is, guys. Anyway, so here's the plan today. What we're gonna do is stand on public property with our cameras and our equipment and just stand there. It's as simple as that. All we're gonna do is stand there and document how people react to us. I wanna make clear, we have no control over other people's behavior. The only people that control their own behavior is themselves. Everyone is responsible for how they act in front of my camera. I do not encourage or influence any type of behavior. We just document the real world. So whether people have good reactions to me or bad reactions to me, 100% on them. Remember guys, when you donate to support Mr. Ghost, a portion portion of these donations go to foster care families all across the country. So you're doing a good thing. You're helping me travel. You're helping me make content and you're helping foster kids that need help more help than Mr. Ghost will ever need. So remember guys, uh, enjoy the video, like and subscribe. And the most important thing, no hate. Let's all love each other. This country is about freedom and love. Peace out. Okay. Oh, how are you, sir? You're good. How are you doing? Go, go, go. Can we help you or? No? Oh, no, not yet. Thank you.
Oh, I'm sorry? Oh, we're doing a documentary on restaurants. Why are you wearing a mask? Mast? Why are you wearing a mask? Oh, it's not a mask, it's a beard. It's a fake beard wig. Because I can't see. Okay, I'll if I don't take, if I take my glass, I'm just wondering why you guys are Yeah, that's why. Can we help you or? No, I was just asking why you're recording. We don't want to be in a documentary. In your, in your so could documentary. you not? I wasn't recording you until you yelled at me. Great. Could you not? Yeah, that's why. Okay, you can leave. Thank you. 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 Thank Throughout your opening monologue, you mentioned passive recording, yet it wasn't implemented. Do you truly understand the concept of passive? It seems challenging for you to remain passive as you tend to escalate situations by speaking. We will see if you attempt to adopt a passive approach in the future, though it seems that being passive was never your intention. As far as passive filming goes, yeah, that's pretty much correct right there. He didn't engage in one bit of passive filming. In fact, this costume right here that he's wearing, uh, well, it's meant to draw attention to himself. If he really wanted to uh, not be passive, this kind of thing would not be it. I mean, he could blend into a crowd quite easily wearing a suit and people probably wouldn't even question it. But this guy, this is not his intention to be passive. That was a flat-out lie. Then comes the sociological aspect of this. If your intent was to do a project for sociology or something like that, uh, well, you do realize that you have to maintain a certain sense of honesty in any of your work. Otherwise, people will question your results. Love your glasses, love the beard. Thank you, sir. I love your beard too. And the do-rag, it's just yep. right. I have a question. Is your beard just real though, right? My it's beard not fake. Is absolutely real. Awesome. How long did it take to grow this? I cut it every uh I, it took about eight months to get here. Nice. I cut it about eight months. Nice. Ago. Uh, once a year I cut it. Huh? I appreciate it, sir. You got it. Man. Thank you. Hey, you guys got a channel or something, you guys? No, I'm actually filming a documentary on yeah. different restaurants here. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah, so I'm trying to we're trying to keep the customers out of the shots. Unless they talk to us like you did. Or, or, I'm just, or F you like the other one. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, some of these people are really aggressive. So if they say stuff like that, I'm going to record them in right. case in case something happens. Right. I'm not here for trouble, no. as you can see. I, you didn't run your mouth. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I appreciate you, sir. Thank you. Do you comprehend the essence of the term liar? Given your apparent unfamiliarity with the notion of passivity, we suspect that you either fail to grasp the concept of dishonesty or deliberately choose to disregard how effortlessly you manipulate others. You were not engaged in the production of a documentary, nor were you intentionally excluding customers from your frame. The bearded gentleman here was exceedingly friendly and certainly did not deserve to be deceived. It is evident that you thrive on confrontation, for without it, your content would lack the captivating allure that keeps your simple-minded audience engaged. <laughs> Regrettably, it seems that you prioritize your own interests above notions of right and wrong, displaying a blatant disregard for ethical considerations. And again, as a sociologist, you are supposed to take into account ethical considerations. If not, then this so-called social experiment of yours would be no better than the Stanley Milgram experiment, the uh, Stanford uh, prison experiment, or the Tuskegee experiment, all of which led to the creation of the National Institute of Health's Ethics Review Board. So, which leaves me wondering, are you certified with the National Institute of Health uh, Ethics Board for Human Experimentation? Hey. What's up? You tell me. We're just hanging out. Cool. Cool. Have a good one. Alright, well have fun filming. 
I, I told you to. So, I give good heads to. Let me, your hair is on. Is it? Yeah. Oh my god, what a comment. Is he harassing you? Yeah, he was. He's harassing you? Okay. I'm sorry? Yeah, I'm filming you work. Oh, okay. Yeah, so just ignore us and go ahead and work and yeah. Oh, it's, it's to film uh, your restaurant, maybe some of your customers. And right now, you. What is this for? Oh, we're doing a documentary about the area. A video documentary. Some of our customers in the patio are not so comfortable with that. So if I can ask you to stop, that'll be great. No, we're, I'm here working. You can go inside if they want private. I understand. No, no, this is our private property, and they don't need we're to be filmed. We're a public property. You're filming a private property. So Correct. if you can stop filming it, I appreciate it. No, 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 we're being, we're being paid to do this. You can pay me and we'll stop, but I have a contract. I have to do my work. Thank you for not disturbing me. It is now plainly evident that you are nothing more than a liar. Although your actions may not be blatantly illegal, it is important to acknowledge that attempting to extort money from someone is a serious legal issue. We are taking steps to ensure that the establishments where the recordings were made are aware of the necessary measures to have their images removed from YouTube. Furthermore, we have reported the attempt at extortion to YouTube, trying to extort someone in exchange for not being uploaded on this platform, is against YouTube policies. We need to ensure that everyone involved understands this matter, and that they take appropriate steps to prevent it from happening again. Oh yeah, extortion, uh, yeah, not exactly a good way to go, uh, right there, you dumbass. Uh, so I'm going to leave a link to the video that she's critiquing in the description box below. We can't do that. We can't do what, sir? We cannot do that. We do, uh, can't do we what? Do we cannot do filming. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Okay, please come. Sir, we're here to, to do a documentary on the area. Okay. We're yeah. going to stay in public. We're not going inside. You uh, have nothing to worry about. Don't shoot inside of this one. No, I have to. No, you don't have to. Yes, I do, sir. My no. boss gave me orders to do this. I'm no. getting paid. Who's your, who's oh, I'm your not boss? telling you now. You're not very nice to me. Business card? No, you give me your ID and business card and all your tax records. Come on. No. Come on. I don't know who you are. Okay, so you're, you're, you're harassing us. We're out on the public You're harassing us. No, you, you're harassing you're coming our out customer. to us. Video recording is not harassment, sir. But you coming out to us and barking orders is harassment. Come on. Just pretend we're not here. Come on, where? I don't want to go. We cannot shoot my customer. We can, and we will. No, we don't. Yeah, we are. They were filming us just now. Yeah. Hey, I got your pictures. Already. I got yours too, okay. sir. Yes. As, as you can take my picture. I did my makeup today. Yeah. So, so good. I, go ahead. Okay. Sir, you're disrupting our work. Yes, sir. Please don't disrupt us. Uh, come on. I'm asking you. So, okay, I'm, I'm going to call the police right now. Yeah, right? call the police so yeah. we can report you, sir. Okay for disrupting me yes. you're harassing me sir you harass me please call the police on yourself yes, and i will report your harassment yes. you can leave me alone i don't want to date you sir you're not my type i like big boobs big butts big hips and you don't have any of that so you can mind your own business he's, he's on the phone to the police for what we haven't done anything wrong. You have come up to us. And you, look, she's she's recording us. She had her camera out. Record, look, she's recording us, sir. Look at that. She's using her camera. Exactly. And I'm on public property. I'm not hiding my face. Why would I? You want me to take my clothes off? No, you're not getting that. You can pay me and I'll take my clothes off. I know I'm in shape. But you gotta pay me to take my clothes off. You are harassing us, man. I don't think you can afford it, lady. I charge by the hour. You're American citizens. Oh, look, they have cameras up there. So there he is on the phone, wasting the dispatcher's time for absolutely nothing. 
Do you want to go over what you've been up to here? You were supposed to just sit back and observe, but that was a lie. You deceived multiple individuals and even attempted to extort someone to prevent themselves from being recorded. And now, you're denying any wrongdoing, leading to taxpayer funds being squandered on cleaning up the chaos you created with the clown act you imposed on everyone. He comes out and harasses us and then claims harassment? Make it make sense. Make it make sense, guys. Look, look at him flapping his mouth to the cops. For nothing. Fake beard, glasses, mask. Don't forget to tell them I'm really handsome. You can't forget that part. Two handsome guys with video cameras. Look, wasting police we resources. Have wrong. Wasting police resources over two men with cameras. The entitlement of these people. We're videoing everything. I explained to him we're doing a documentary on the area. For what? We're doing a documentary, ma'am. For what? For us. Documentary us? I, I, we don't have to explain ourselves to you. Just pretend we're not here. I don't have to. This is my camera. My camera, my choice. My camera, my choice. Real nice lady. I will. The police will see all this harassment when they come. They will. They will. Everything's good. Put serious anxiety in here, and you're making her chatter. She's freaking out. I don't want to know that information about your daughter, sir. No, you guys should leave. Seriously. No, you should leave. Leave me alone. You're giving us unnecessary information. Please do not harass me, sir. That's not What are we filming? Yeah. Oh, we we're filming uh, this restaurant, the front door. Uh, not me, but the restaurant. Yeah, we were filming the front door until you talked to me. So now we're filming you, so. But I don't give you consent to filming. We, we were already filming, you spoke to us. You spoke to us. Our camera was pointed that way. Yeah. Okay, but I don't so. want you guys filming me at all. Okay, well, we have to record everything out here. Yeah. So, any more questions? We'll, we'll get back to work. Okay. Yeah, this is better. Whatever you want, that's your camera, your choice. Okay, good. And we have extra. What are, what are you guys filming for? We're doing a documentary in the area here. About what? A documentary, a documentary about the area, the entire area. Okay. A lot of historical value. 
a lot of nice people too, so okay. we're, we're getting all the nice people. Okay. Yeah, that's it. What are your guys' names? Uh, you can call me uh, Gandalf the White. <laughs> What's your name, sir? My name's Evan. Nice, nice to meet you, Evan. Nice to meet you. Nice. Alex Fistbump? Fistbump. Yeah. Any other questions or? That's it? All right. Thank you, guys. Just pretend we're not here, everything's good. I can't hear you, ma'am. Can we help you? Can I help you guys? Can you, uh, you tell me. Do you want to bring me out some uh, clothes to check out or? Who's in there? That was weird. Who's in there? Okay, that was weird. We're just out here on the public sidewalk. What are you guys doing? Do you guys need anything or? No, but it's a little weird that you're filming us. It's weird? Yeah. How is it weird? You guys walked out to us. We were out here minding our own business and you made a free choice as a free no, person. No, I just wondered what you're filming. Oh, well, you should have asked. Well, I wasn't up here at the time. Nobody asked us that question. What I'm, are you filming? Well, right now you. Hello. I, <laughs> we're filming all your merchandise. Okay. That's it. Nothing to worry about. Have a good day. shooting for? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're doing a documentary on the area here. Oh, okay. We were just yeah. wondering because we didn't know what you were filming. Oh, now you know. Oh, well, what's the documentary called? Uh, we, we don't have a name yet. I'm, uh, we're actually hired by the people making the documentary. Oh, okay. So we're just going to, uh, we're hired to film everything up and down the street. Oh. And then the uh, documentary maker does whatever he wants with the footage. See. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions or? No, thank you. Thanks. Ooh, why are you in my face, bro? I will defend myself if you do that again. I don't want to kiss you. Why not? You could go down the street for that. You're too fat, bro. You're a fat ass. Do that again, see what happens. Touch me one more time. Touch me one more time. I know you guys can film me. You guys want to stop filming? I'm sorry? Can you stop filming because you just had all our customers leave. We had all your customers leave. Right? They chose to leave. sitting right here just left. Okay? They, that's their choice, sir. Yeah, but why are you filming? You have the power to influence the implementation of laws that regulate public photography, just like in other parts of the United States. By disrupting the peace of others, you are paving the way for stricter restrictions. Don't take our word for it, do some research. Your actions are enabling businesses to back these laws. Thank you for your contributions. We're doing a documentary on the, this restaurant. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll have somebody come move you. Yeah. Move us? Yeah. Yeah, please call them. No one in there wants to be filmed. Uh, we're not in there, sir. We're filming outside. Yeah, what are you guys filming for? We're doing a docu- uh, are you- We're doing a documentary on uh, some of the restaurants here. Oh, sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you like interviewing people? No, no, we're out here in my normal business. We're doing like B-roll right now. B-roll? Yeah, that's what we told the, the manager, I assume. He came out here. Yeah. And uh, we told him the same thing, so... We're just working. We're not bothering anybody. We haven't spoken to anyone. Are you actually. put it on YouTube? 
Yeah. YouTube. No, no, no. You don't know where you're going to put it? Sick. Just like LA uh, businesses? Pretty much. Yeah, we work for somebody that's doing the documentary. Uh, so that's about it. So why do you have to hide your faces? I'm not hiding my face. Yeah, you are. How am I hiding my face? Why do you, okay, well, why do you have a costume on? A costume? Yeah. What, what, what do you mean costume? I'm confused. What's, okay, for sure. Right on. I mean, are you talking about the beard? And, the, well, the glasses are pretty sick. Yeah, yeah. It's just not well, sunny out, so I was like, why are you? Yeah, why well, wear the beard for religious purposes? Oh. Yeah, so. Okay, cool. Is there going to be religion in the documentary? Oh, no, no. This is separate from what I'm filming for my boss. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So, that's about it. <laughs> Paparazzi? Oh, no, not at all. Oh. Is there someone famous in there? I don't know. I, I oh. want some break. Oh, are you the famous one? Yeah. You have the million dollar smile. <laughs> I think it's you. Have a good one. Did you? I'm sorry. Did she say something? Yeah, she's speaking. Oh. I said, "What? What are you guys filming?" Oh, everything. Everything. Because I don't necessarily want to be on camera. Thanks. Okay, then walk away from my camera. Mind your own business. So the police told them already we're on public and Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Stop what? I just feel very uncomfortable pointing that in my face. Oh, nothing's in your face. I'm way over here. They do that for content. They want you to, like... Just yeah. ignore, pretend I'm not here. Yeah. Like a bully? I, I yeah, they, they, they want you to they react. Want, they, want, they want a reaction. They want content. No, I told her to pretend I'm not here. I'm not here for a reaction. Look at that liar employee hotel spreading lies.
Nice glasses. It is truly ironic that your channel bears the name Ghost. By single-handedly fueling opposition from businesses, you are inadvertently impeding our freedoms. Each passing day witnesses further restrictions on our liberties, and you are only accelerating this process, rendering the concept of freedom a mere ghost for future generations. However, rest assured that we will vigorously combat your endeavors, aiming to ensure that your actions fade into a past unremembered Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Yeah, I see a bright future with this channel right here. I mean, looks like they will do quite well in the uh, anti frauditor club. I mean, very good arguments, very well put together. Very good job. So keep up the good work. So at any rate, go ahead and subscribe to their channel and tell them I sent you. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?